Okay guys, welcome back. I'm John Crawford. Welcome back to the John Crawford School of Music. Okay, today guys, I promised a friend of mine over in Clarksville, Tennessee, a very long time ago that I would prepare a lesson on Just Remember I Love You by Firefall. And that's a great song to sit around and play and jam on your guitar. And um, I made a promise and I need to take care of that. So today we're going to do that. The song basically is comprised of two different sections. There is a verse and a chorus, and there's no um, interlude, there's no bridge or anything like that. The first part of the song starts off like this. There's like a kind of an intro. I'm sure that there's probably a guitar whiz kid out there that has something that's more complicated, but this actually works, and anytime I play it, anybody, everybody pretty much always recognizes it. This is a super easy way to do it. You start with an F major 7th chord as your basic shape, which is basically a garden variety F, but you take your index finger off of the E string, leaving it open, so you have your D string on the 3rd fret, your G string on the 2nd, and your B string on the first fret, leaving your E string open like this. And it comprises an F major seven chord. Moving up two frets with that whole hot mess to where your index finger is now on the third fret of B. Your middle finger is on your fourth fret of uh, G and your ring finger is on the sixth fret, no third or fifth, fifth fret of D. So, third of B, fourth of D, G, excuse me, and fifth of D. Like that. You're just basically taking this and moving it up one fret. And I'm going to give you some context to that in just a second because there's also a little bit more to it. So, you get to get this sweet little. So, what you're going to do here is you're going to hit. You're not going to hit this chord, you're going to take the index finger off of your B. Yes, we're going to make it even more complicated. Take your index finger off of your B like this, so that you only have the 3rd fret of your D and the 2nd fret of your G, leaving the B and the E open like this. I can give you some complicated name of this chord, like a, like a diminished 5th or something like that. But I'm not going to go into that. It's just basically three, two, open, open. So then you take your index finger and put it back on the first fret of B like this. So you're going back and forth like this. And you're doing down strokes with your pick. Then you're going to move, like I said, we're going to move this whole mess up two frets, so instead of one, uh, three, two, one, you're going to be five, four, three, like this, five of D, four of G, and three of B, but you're going to take this index finger off, and it's going to be five and four, and then two open strings, like this, and then put your index finger back for the second pick stroke, so it's like this. So I'm going to do that part again. I'm going to talk about another little issue, which is a little hammer-on issue. So, strumming this. chord, bringing out, put that index finger down with considerable attack, you're going to hammer back onto that first fret like this, see what I did there, so then you're going to move it up to the second round, now go like this, so I'm going to do all this together. Now, 
guitar player, when he starts to sing the verse, when it all goes crazy and the thrill is gone, days get rainy and the nights get long. Okay, so I know that the guitar player is. Okay, I know that this rhythm gets a little bit tricky when you're learning to sing and strum, but just take your time with it. It goes a little bit like this. Just go slow. You're doing your F major 7 combo here, and your G6 combo, and, when, and you sing that first verse after you do this a couple times, like this. Back to here again. Staring E minor. Staring at your C. Then back to your F major seven combo. Thinking of your blue. F major seven combo. When there's so much trouble. Okay, this time I'm going to go through the whole thing. I'm going to play and sing it very slowly so that you can kind of follow along. Here's the intro. Straight up F. Just a nice little F chord there. One and two and three. And then you go to your G and four. So it's one measure of eighth notes. One and two and three and four. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Make sure you catch them all. If you're looking at it on a piece of sheet music, that would all be on one beam. One and two and three and four. So moving on, one and two and three and four. Now go to a C, C, G, F, F, C, G, F, C, G, F, two, three, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, A minor, G, two, three, four, and back. Context for you. C. Just remember I love you. C. G. F. Put it back in context. 
context. Just remember I love you, see, and it'll be alright. G. Just remember I love you more than I can G say. A minor. Maybe then your blues will G fade. Okay, I'm going to go into the next verse. I think after the next verse, you go into the guitar solo. After the guitar solo, you play one last verse and a bunch of choruses. And that's basically the structure of the song. So the next verse, I'll just do that for clarity. Okay, then you've got your, your lead guitar solo, which we'll cover another time, um, and that's pretty much it. That's the structure of the song. Just follow that basic verse and chorus pattern throughout the song, and you should have it. Um, this is not meant to be a, just a 100% step-by-step walkthrough. This is just a really quick um, run-through of the basics of the song. If you have any questions, Please don't forget to leave comments in the comment section below. And as always, please remember to like and subscribe. I am here, guys. Uh, we are all hanging through this COVID-19 business together. I am providing these little spots of music tutorial um, to keep us all busy and give us something to do throughout the process. In the meantime, guys, stay home if you're sick. Observe all of that good social distancing and all of that stuff that the CDC is telling us to do in the meantime. Take care, peace, and God bless.